to my channel in today's video I am bringing you guys some extreme kitchen deep cleaning and decluttering motivation in order to get you ready for that spring cleaning season I'm so excited to share with you this video guys like I I've been working four days on this so hopefully if you watch to the end you will get some major motivation so I'm really excited because this is the start of our new spring cleaning series even though technically we're going into winter in Australia but I feel like this is the perfect time of the year to really get into that spring cleaning because I feel like March and April it kind of like slows down and you just want to refresh you've passed that Christmas period and you kind of just like want to get your house in order so I'm using this time to really like declutter my home and um, clean like bits that we haven't gotten around to like the dishwasher and the oven and even next week I want to focus on cleaning things like the air conditioning and maybe even the washing machine um, I have decided to do a little series for you guys so hopefully you will find some motivation I will make a spring cleaning playlist for you and yeah I'm just gonna go through and quickly tidy up the kitchen before I really get started into all the nitty gritty stuff all right so the first thing that i wanted to do was pull everything out of our i guess you can call it appliance cupboard um this is where we keep like our juicer our toaster our blender the crock pot and the rice cooker and any other like random bips and bobs i wanted to go through this and give it a good vacuum and a wipe down and just see if there's any like appliances that we need to get rid of i feel like we easily accumulate appliances over like the last 12 months and and I just needed to really make our kitchen a useful space and utilize everything that we have rather than like over cluttering and I guess like becoming overwhelmed by all this stuff. I'm really trying to like use this year to really get back to the basics of things and utilize everything I have rather than wasting precious space. So I'm just going through and I'm going to be emptying my toaster. I feel like this always collects crumbs. So I'm just going to wash that down and I actually decided to scrub the toaster up a bit because it actually was quite tarnished and stained. So I'm using a little bit of bicarb soda and a little bit of dish soap on a scourer and I'm going to go through and rub that until it's quite silver. It's not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was before. It did require a lot of elbow grease. Alright, now I'm just going to go through and wipe down all the appliances and put them back in the clean cupboard and just go through everything that we need. And I really wanted to sort out a method that was easy accessible for the stuff that we use every day and stuff that we don't use every day so I put the things on top that we like to use the most like the blender and the juicer and the toaster and things that we don't get around to so much on the bottom <laughs> There's just something so refreshing about like taking everything out and tidying your space. It really allows you to find out what you actually have. And there's like times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I had that. Or I've been looking for that product for a while and it's not until you clean it out that you find it. So now I'm just going through our, I guess, Tupperware closet. Closet cupboard and pulling everything out i feel like if you do one shelf at a time it's not as overwhelming this space was definitely utilized like we we cram a lot of tupperware in there 
So I'm just going around and doing the same thing, wiping the surfaces, and we actually have these little trays that I pop in the cupboard. It just kind of breaks it up and categorizes things. They came with our baskets, so I thought I would use them anyway. We are trying to convert all our Tupperware over to glass. I feel like using glass is so much better for your health. We're not perfect and we still use a bit of plastic here and there, but I'm, I'm building up my collection slowly and I love using jars. Like buying a jar worth of sauce anyway, so you may as well keep the jar and wash it and use it for stuff later. We are quite minimal with our cooking stuff anyway, but any duplicates I'm going to get rid of unless like we always use it. So we had like three pizza trays and I really didn't feel like we needed that that third one. So I decided to donate it or get rid of it. We also did have a large wok in the cupboard, but I ended up getting rid of that a few days prior to filming this video it was quite rusty and I just felt like it was quite cheap and nasty and probably like full of toxic um, ingredients on the surface of the wok so I did decide to get rid, rid of that um, and just like clearing up that space has helped so much um, it's just really nice to be able to visually see all the things that you have in your cupboard rather than every time you open it it like falls out on you <laughs> Does anyone else have a separate cupboard just for their tea and coffee? I I don't know, I haven't met anyone besides my own family that does this. I Maybe it's just me, I'm a beverage collector, I love my teas and I just feel like it needs its own designated cupboard. Well, safe to say that this cupboard gets so messy, there's crumbs everywhere, there's sugar, there's coffee and it's just nasty. And I am going to be honest, I haven't vacuumed it in, in a long time so we're going to go through that. We're gonna clean it and I actually decided to make everything well not everything but put most of the things that I have in jars because I found a lot of jars during this process and I just feel like it's just nicer to have everything in glass jars and keep it a little bit cohesive so I actually love this style of jar. It's originally from coffee and I told Isaac that if he's gonna drink instant coffee, he has to buy the certain brand that <laughs> creates those jars. They just seem to work really good with the pop lids, but I only had one of them. So I'm just going to use like the screw top jars, which are nice anyway. I try and like find jars that are like 
got nice lids and not all the time do I have jars with nice lids but um, yeah we're, we're working on a cohesive jar thing <laughs> Through our phone in the night No, I'm here by your side So tell me where are you now When your head is in the clouds I wanna find out now Cause I'm vibing with all we have Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now I'm laying down on the ground All I do is thinking out loud Yeah, I'm vibing with all we have I'm feeling what we all I do is thinking out loud Cause I'm wondering with these emotions Stumbling out of bed What hell of a roller coaster So this top cupboard is a little bit random it's like an awkward space that has like a big vent in the way so I really try and utilize like all the space in my kitchen because it is quite a small kitchen so this I guess holds our first aid kit which is like in a big Tupperware container that I just kind of stack vertically I also keep my sewing kit up here and any like miscellaneous products such as chalk paint which who knows when we're gonna need that. I'm gonna admit I did keep that because it was quite pricey and maybe down the track we will find a project that needs it. But um, I don't know, we like kept some dog stuff up here and I just felt like it needed a good vacuum. I just kind of needed to sort some products out that weren't in the container that was meant to be in the container. And just like the aim for this declutter was to like be able to visually see everything and realize what we have in our kitchen because I feel like you kind of know your kitchen until you really get into that rabbit hole and then you just realize all the stuff that you have kept that you didn't know you kept. <laughs> I feel like we're getting pretty wise and philosophical here. Wouldn't you agree? Like, I don't know what it is about like the fridge, but it ends up getting so dirty and so dusty and I always have to clean it. I especially like this top surface. Like, look how much dust is there. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it is up high, but it's really gross and nasty. And I am going to do a full fridge clean. So make sure you watch till the end if you need some fridge cleaning motivation because this fridge is nasty. Like, oh my God. This girl did not know how bad her fridge was. You know how like something looks clean on the outside, but it's not until you really get on your hands and knees and clean it thoroughly that you realize how dirty it is. Yeah, but that, that, that's what was happening in this kitchen. But now I'm just pulling out this top cutlery drawer and I'm gonna go through the whole thing and clean it out because I don't know what it is, but I feel like the cutlery drawer always collects so much crumbs and fingerprints and maybe because it is used the most in the kitchen but it just gets nasty real fast and I need to give it a good wipe down and a good vacuum and I love using the vacuum for like stuff like this because it collects all the loose crumbs and then you can kind of go through with the cloth and you know get rid of the dirt the gross dirt. Um, I did want to mention that I am using my DIY multi-purpose cleanup throughout this video. So it's just one part vinegar, two parts water, and a bunch of your favorite essential oils. My favorite combination is lemon, grapefruit, and lavender. I use the Eco Aroma Essential Oils. It is an Australian brand and they're really good and reputable and they're affordable guys because I feel like there's so many essential oil brands brands that I guess kind of get caught in the hype and they're so expensive but um yeah I'm just gonna go through and do the second drawer as well and we're, we're gonna make our way down all right guys 
so stay tuned and if you are just chilling sitting here watching this cleaning video i really want to encourage you to grab your cleaning cloth and your diy multi-purpose cleaner and come and join me we can clean together for this 38 minute video Alright, I know you've got that drawer, that junk drawer in your house. Whether it be one, two, maybe three, pull it out. We're going to take everything out of the drawer and we're going to go through it. My drawer really consists of a lot of bags, a lot of weird miscellaneous stuff that I'm going to categorize. I don't know, you just collect a lot of things that you just don't really know where to put. You're not really sure on their purpose, but you're gonna keep it anyway. If you're anything like me, you know. Um, I decided to pull the rubbish bin down just so it makes it easy, like an easier process for decluttering and cleaning. I feel like it's if it's visually in front of you, you're gonna utilize it more. So this was a fun one. After unpacking the dishwasher, I decided that we are going to deep clean the inside of the dishwasher. And this is super simple. All you need is a cup full of white vinegar and just pour it inside. And I just chucked the cup in. And then I'm going to put it on a 30 minute cycle. Guys, vinegar is like one of the best things you can use for your house. It's a disinfectant and it's so cheap and you can find it at any store and it's just great for like shining up those silver stainless steel areas oh my god guys <laughs> talk about satisfying um so i don't know but we live in a rental right and i feel like when you move into a rental they don't do a very good job at cleaning and you kind of don't realize it until you start to deep clean yourself but guys it wasn't until i was cleaning this stove that i realized that hey that gunk does not look normal. We're gonna, we're gonna clean it up. So I decided to get a toothpick and like scrape it. And can we just like say, or like experience how satisfying this is? 
I even like made Isaac join me <laughs> while I was doing it and he was walking past and he was like, I gotta do that. I need to try it. But oh my gosh, guys, it was so filthy. It was gross. It's a lot of built up grease and it's just nasty. Now I'm going to go through and fully wipe down the stainless steel stove. I like to try and buff this out, but it is quite scratched, so it doesn't always come up nice, but you can only do what you can do, hey? remember a few weeks ago I did my oven I, I I did it pretty recently so we'll safe to say we have pretty much gotten into baking well Isaac has and that was a lot of flour in this oven and it wasn't too bad like it was quite easy to clean up because it's quite like fresh if if you want to put it that way so I just wiped it down and decided to do a light baking well bicarb soda and vinegar paste on the oven I'm still really struggling with getting up the like I don't know if you can say like the the crap on the bottom I don't know what to call it um I guess like grease I've tried to scrape it and it kind of works but it takes so long so I'm just gonna go through it and give it a good old scrub and try my best I think like each time I clean my oven it will slowly come up because it is better each time I do it but yeah you can only do your best doing this over 
two days um, but I wanted to show you how shiny the dishwasher came up but now it is the next day and I'm kind of focusing on the outside of the kitchen so yesterday was more like tackling all the inside cupboards and really pulling everything out and decluttering but today I'm really going to get into the surface areas I feel like the surface areas are just as important as like the inside of the cupboards if not more because you can visually see them it's a point of touch of contact where you that made no sense to you know it's a it's a point of contact where you touch all day so you want to keep it germ free because you know going into cold and flu season you're, you you want to take precaution um, but I'm pulling everything off the bench and I'm wiping behind all of the different um, appliances that we have so we do have this water filter that I actually get a lot of questions about I will link it down below um, it's a great water fil filter it was an investment but when I think about it, we were spending $10, $20 a week on cartridge water. And just by buying this water filter, we've saved quite a lot of money. I think it's so important to nourish your soul and your body with efficient nutrition and water because your body really is like a filter. Anyway, enough about the nutrition rant. Now I'm going on to cleaning the walls, guys. We have white walls and on camera, it doesn't really pick it up as well, but guys, there's a lot of dirt. It's, it's pretty gross. There's a lot of uh, built up crap. There's a lot of squash bugs. I don't know, but I actually decided to clean the roof and I wish the camera got this, but it, it didn't. It just got my legs. So you're just going to have to trust my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to go through and wipe down all of the walls of the kitchen and then I'm going to go ahead and clean out the fridge because it was well overdue. I definitely needed doing So like I said, we live in a rental. So we moved in and it's it's pretty dirty. And I did not realize how gross this area is. Like how come I haven't noticed? Does anyone else not notice things until they deep clean? Because I feel like that's me. Um, but it was so much more nicer and clean after I cleaned this. I did decide to clean it with a baby wipe just because it was really, really bad, guys. It was gross and I kind of just wanted to chuck it away. Like, I was not putting that thing in my washing machine. I don't know how long it was built up, but it was probably like five years worth of dirt. Like, the people who lived here before us, they were nasty. Anyway, we are going ahead and we're going to clean the fridge now. So I'm just taking most of the things off the fridge. The stuff on the side I'm not too worried about, but I mainly want to declutter the surface that we um, visually see every day. I kind of want to create more of a clear space so it's not so in your face and overwhelming, but I'm going to go through and wipe the whole thing down first. bad we hadn't gone food shopping yet so there wasn't much stuff in there but there were a few containers where I needed to pull out and you know get rid of the leftovers that Isaac was meant to eat but but he didn't I also had like made up a play-doh in there that 
was getting a bit gross so that needed chucking too and I'm just gonna go through and wipe all the surface areas of the fridge as well like I said I cleaned the fridge a few weeks ago so the inside of it wasn't too bad my main concern was actually the outside areas you will see in a few clips time that it it, it was it was nasty Let, let's just put it at that So in the corners there was like a build up of grime. I don't know if it was like old fruit or uh, I just don't even know what it is, but it was it was it was gross. And especially on the door, like you can see how nasty it is. I have never noticed this before because I've never really gotten on this level, if I'm gonna be honest. But today we're just tackling it, we're just getting right into it, and we're gonna get rid of all that grime. It, it's gonna be like a new fridge. But um, I'm, I was doing like the, the front part of the fridge and now I'm gonna go ahead and do each drawer, not drawer, each like section of the door by themselves um, just because I didn't wanna leave the fridge open for too long. But um, yeah, it, it wasn't too bad. glass like jar bottles in the fridge in the freezer full of like punch over Christmas time and they both exploded and I did one after the other thinking oh maybe that one was just weak no guys don't put full glass in the freezer it's just silly um anyway it like exploded red raspberry stuff so I kind of had to clean that up we did clean up the glass at the time but I was like oh it's a Christmas time I'll get around to it one time anyway safe to say three months later I never got around to it until today today we're, we're like hitting milestones we're accomplishing things um I just wanted to create a, a freezer that was visually appealing and um you know not so overwhelming because I feel like anytime we'd open the freezer all the stuff would fall out on us um now I'm gonna go ahead and do the I guess outside of the kitchen the area that I never touch I've never wiped this down or maybe once if I got like a spill but I really should more often I don't know life just gets in the way if you know what I mean
for so long I've wanted to get rid of the, this rack. I just didn't know how to like do it. <laughs> I didn't know how to not commit to a rack, but I feel like it makes the area look so much more cleaner, less cluttered without the rack. The rack's just like chunky. It takes up space. It's like not appealing to the eyes. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the sink. So I'm just doing it with some bicarb soda and my cloth and this is going to like buff out any of the rust and like really shine it up. This is so easy to do guys. You literally just scrub it and wash it down with some water. You can add a little bit of like dishwashing liquid to it if you need a little bit more of a I guess bubbly substance to get rid of the grime but for me our sink wasn't too bad. And then I'm gonna go through and dry the sink. This will really like give it a shiny look and make it look super new. And it's just gonna be nice. We all like a clean sink. It's just like the finishing touches to our kitchen. So I also wanted to try this hat. Um, that I found and it's meant to get rid of like all the I guess black stuff on the bottom of your jug so it said to put a cup full of vinegar in and fill it up with water now I'm gonna be honest I think I may have put too much water in because it like bubbled everywhere like boiling water and um, yeah that was fun to clean up so I definitely recommend doing probably like half maybe even a third of your jug of water and just try in the cup then. I did boil it a few times, but I feel like it worked out really well. There probably is room for improvement, but it, it, was, it was an improvement. Now, of course, I'm going to finish up the kitchen with the floors. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum all the crumbs that are dropped from the last two days, and we're gonna mop with a good, old vinegar solution and a dash of eucalyptus earth choice cleaner i feel like this smells so nice and i also like to add a hint of mint um, essential oils just to give it that real fresh cleanliness feel if you know what i'm saying i really hope you found this video super motivating and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more like this because we are doing a spring cleaning series here on youtube and yeah make sure you have that notification bell on so you can keep up with more videos and yeah have a great one bye guys